Sean Michaels at WrestleMania 19 was a great match. All those Hell in the Cells, or not Hell in the Cells, um, Elimination Chambers, like that is the hardest match. Those matches are, that, that chamber that you're in is, you know, wrestling, always wrestling. That thing is literally made out of a, out of a steel mesh grill. And when you fall on it, you look like you just got put on the fryer at Burger King. You know, you have those little marks on your back. That's what it's like. It's so hard. It's the worst. Like, whoever invented this thing is an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Eric Bischoff. Uh, Bischoff. No, no, no. This is an elimination chamber. This was one of the WWE ones, you know, with the pods in the corner and all that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's so stupid that like, you can actually climb to the top of the pod, but then the roof is, like, right here. So you can stand on it, but you have to bend over. And it's just like, it's either put the roof where you can't stand on it, or put it high enough where you can actually stand on it. <laughs> Not in between, you know, unless you're a hobbit. <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes, sometimes uh, the way that they, they come up with these ideas for, for the guys to do that sound much better in execution, but when you're actually out there doing it, it's, it's uh, the whole, like, what is the hell is going on with this? It's terrible. So, um, but you know, TLCs are always crazy too. This, you know, so, Almost every match you have is pretty hard hitting in one form or another. Because you feel it the next day no matter what it is. It's show business first and foremost. It always is for me, it always was, but it's still a contact sport. There's still a lot of physicality involved. So um, and any match you have is, is you feel it. Alright, let's I'm gonna take one more and then we're gonna get straight to signing. So you guys are asking great questions, thank you. This is great. <laughs> Uh, very quickly, did you find it difficult to keep on using the lion song move after Hayabusa got injured? The duffel bag and filled it full of dirty laundry, and that was my target. And then I just kind of set it in the middle of the ring and just kind of four steps, one, two, three, four. I think I would do the thing, and then you know, I'm four steps away. And that's kind of where I started positioning and placing it. And that's how I started doing the lion song. And to this day, I still, I mean, I don't think anybody actually ever invented anything, but as far as I know, I invented that. Um, and I'm taking <laughs> so Hayabusa and I, we used to train quite a bit. He was living in, in uh, Mexico City at this little, uh, it was called Pension Amigo. It was a place where all the Japanese guys lived. Like all the Japanese people that were in the country in that area lived there. And we used to go and meet up and we'd go to one of the arenas and just practice. We ended with Dragon too. I say, and that guy was so agile. He could do like a, a springboard shooting star press. Uh, he could do a running shooting star press, which nobody could do at the time. You know, springboard. Front flick, like all this like springboard 450 front flip splash, and, and just all this crazy stuff. He was so talented. And when I first went to FMW, he was there as just a young boy, and he used the moonsault during a match. And our, our, our uh, instructions were if, when he does the moonsault, make sure you make the save. You know, because this is his big move. We're in this big uh, baseball stadium, Kawasaki Stadium. And when, when uh, the high was gave me, his name was Zach at the time, as he, Zach gave me the move. My partner was supposed to come in and make the save, but my partner, this guy called Eric Fries from Edmonton, was too busy watching the giant Tron. <laughs> watching himself on it. So when Izaki gave me the moonsault for the save, he's watching. One, two, oh, I gotta get in there. And like, totally didn't come close, I had to kick out of the big move, and of course that was bad news, but. <laughs> so he was really, really talented. Then he ended up, uh, he did the moon, the, the lion salt one day, and, and it's one of the sickest pictures you'll see. He, he landed on his head where his head was, let me see how he, he was, he was coming over the back foot and his head like was basically, he was kissing his back with his neck was bent like that when he landed. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was one of the most horrifying things. Good guy too, and he was paralyzed. Uh, so I think he can actually walk now. I think he, I don't know if he's really strong, but he, he actually came back pretty well. Um, but it's one of those things like that's happened to me a couple times doing that. One time I did it and the rope just exploded and I just kind of <laughs> fell backwards. It actually happened on another time on a WWE pay per view where I jumped yeah, the second totally. the whole thing just exploded. Then another time I remember I was listening to Kurt Henning and I went to jump and I just I slipped off and I kind of really landed like like kind of like in a crab position. And so I was really lucky that those things didn't happen, you know. But uh, you just one of those things, you just take your time and get your, get your footing and don't rush it. And after all these years, I've probably done it a thousand times, two thousand times maybe. So it's just one of those things that, that you just do it. You know, when I asked Shawn Michaels in 1986, how do you do a backflip off the top rope? Top rope? Just do it, brother. I figure why he called me brother. <laughs> Seriously. Um, that's, that's brother. But that's, you just gotta be, you gotta be, it's, one, it's like being a gymnast in a lot of cases, you just gotta be fearless and just go for it. If there's any hesitation, there's a lot of moves over the years that I just dropped or stopped, you know, stopped doing or changed because I just couldn't do it like I used to. Like, or just some, 
something changed for me. I used to do like, I'd jump straight to the top rope and do a drop kick where the guy was on the apron side. I changed it to jumping in the second rope because I was starting to jump to the top rope but not making it all the time. And then the, I don't know why, but you gotta get rid of it. You can't be out there doing that. It's like screwing up a, you know, screwing up a guitar solo if you're Van Halen or something. Just don't do it, just switch it. So, um, but the, the line salt was never really, it didn't really bother me. I felt bad about it, but I just don't think about it. Just do it, say a prayer before the match and just don't, don't think about it. Right on, okay, so, um, <clears throat> Let's give Chris Jericho a huge round of applause. I just want to say thanks to you guys. I mean, this is, I think, my 17th signing, and, and usually they're in bookstores and people come through, and I always like to have a chat, but this is a lot of fun to actually sit down in a little more of an intimate setting and, and shoot the breeze for a while. So I really enjoyed it. Just good questions, guys. And we can continue that in the line. So, um, you know, I don't think we have to go for super organizations. So, uh, yeah. is that going to be on YouTube? Uh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> is it really? Yep. Yeah, yeah, totally. Sweet. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, so yeah, just like, yeah, like Jericho signing. Yeah, yeah like with that, it's like the tag. Uh, I recorded, but on my camera, it's so only got like 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because it only has so much. Yeah. yeah. It just hit me. <laughs> well, I had it down here. I had it perfect. It was right here. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> And it just hit me. I started to be like, you know what? Video? Click. <laughs> <laughs> just on my camera. Mm -hmm. just, uh, mm -hmm. I almost, I almost <laughs> forgot it. I was right here in San Diego today. And, like, I wish I was up front because I was like a couple rows back. And so, you know, you're kind of like fighting this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I almost forgot it. I didn't know. I just had it right here. Oh, yeah. I, like I yeah. said, I missed the last 20 minutes. I've only got the first one. Yeah. Yeah. It's still good, uh, Texas, yeah, from my footage, it'll be like, you know, kind of like darting around ahead, kind of. <laughs> well, my legs were pinned hard, so it just like shaped. Right. It was just right here, but I was like, yeah. Mm -hmm.